Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. Over the next days, weeks, and possibly months, we must be constantly ready and waiting upon the Lord. You know, as we see the sun rising over here in the east, the Lord Jesus Christ will split the eastern sky and he will come for those who are waiting for him. As we see that day now approaching, we must understand that part of the criteria of the end of days is that just before, just before the sound of the trumpet, just before the great tribulation begins, people will be going on with their business as usual. They'll be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until that day happens. Just this weekend, one of my sons got married. It was a day just like any other day. And we, when we study the criteria of what will take place during the tribulation, the context does not meet what people believe. People believe that we have to go into the tribulation and that people are going to be eating and drinking and marrying, giving in marriage, which could happen. But when you view and understand that that portion of scripture is talking about times that seem normal, times that seem okay, and we do know that at the especially at the sixth seal, that great and mighty destruction is going to come upon the earth. And from then on, for the next seven years, they're going to be the worst times throughout all of human history. Every indication is that at the fourth seal is when the rapture will take place. And we do know that we are currently at the third seal. Every bit of evidence is showing that. So we must, be under, we must understand that we must be ready. One of the things the Lord showed me, again, I've mentioned this many, on many occasions, that when the rapture takes place, when the trumpet sounds, it'll be a day like any other day. Unassuming. It was actually a nice day when I was taken into the sky and into the Lord's kingdom. So we must be constantly ready. Can it be during this Feast of Trumpets, perhaps. Do we have all the calendars correct? Maybe we could be off. Anything could happen because this is the Lord's timing, not our timing. And so for those who are seeking, those who are watching, those who are waiting, and things don't happen, do not get on their case. They are, they are those who are wanting and waiting for their Lord to arrive. And when something does not happen as we feel it might, we continue to watch and wait for our Lord. Because Scripture, if you believe in Scripture, is true and it will happen. Scripture is clear about that it will take place. And that we as just mere mortals, just people who love their Lord and waiting for Him, are trying to seek Him daily to see when that may take place. You know, the argument of, Nobody knows the day and hour. Fine. However, we do know the season. And do some research what that day and hour actually refers to. Because it could indicate a time when the Lord will arrive. Anyway, I hope this message finds you well. Continue to wait upon the Lord. Be wise with your light shining brightly in your lamp full of oil. He will come to take those, remove those, to rescue those who are waiting upon him and who love him, just as a bride waiting for her bridegroom. Have a blessed day. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.